Hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk about um, how to embed a registration form or even a leaderboard on your site. Um, this is a great way to drive traffic to your own uh, website. Um, so we have everything documented in the Help Center here. But I'm going to go ahead and walk you through uh, so you can kind of see how that's all done. Uh, first thing you want to do is, um, you know, within your website, whether you're using WordPress or any any type of platform out there, you're going to want to create a new page. Uh, we'll just call this registration form. All right, and if we scroll down to the editor, and this is where we're going to add the embedded code. Uh, what you'll want to do is within the help center here, uh, we have kind of a little template here that you can copy, and we'll paste it in the editor. And we're going to replace this embed link with um, the embeddable registration form. So within your event, uh, you're going to want to go to sharing and display. And we've got a bunch of different forms that you can embed here. And I'll just go ahead and copy this registration form. And I'll just replace this embed link with the link I just copied here. And that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and publish this and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so now that I've got my form um, on the new page I created, you can see that the uh, registration form is now part of my website. Um, now you can play with a couple different things here. Uh, sometimes the form may be uh, super long, as you'll see here. Um, it's actually just perfect, but if you have a team event with multiple teammates, this might require some, uh, some adjustment. And all you really need to do is just go back to the edit page. and just play with the height a little bit. So I can change this to 2000. Um, and we can go ahead and update that. Let's take a look at the page again. And now you'll see that I don't have a scroll within the uh, registration form anymore. So you can play around with the height um, depending on how your site's set up. The other thing you can do is you can actually hide this header. Uh, just to kind of keep it a little bit more seamless. And all you have to do is go back to your event and uncheck the show header option. And if I go back to the web page and refresh this, you'll now see the header is missing. Um, it's hidden and it looks a lot cleaner uh, and more seamless on your website. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's the same process for embedding your leaderboards. Um, the schedule and also the vendor registration.